Hi everyone, uh, welcome to AMH 1020. Uh, I'm Philip Travis, I am your new instructor for the class. Um, due to, of course, an un unforeseen circumstance, uh, you are going to be uh, now taking this class for myself. Uh, this is, of course, the online edition. Uh, we'll be covering the period from the end of the American Civil War until present. Um, a little bit about myself. Um, so, at SEF, I, um, I do all of our, I'm the head of our EUH, our Western Civ classes. I do World War II and the Holocaust. I do the uh, Western Civ survey courses. Uh, but my specialization, my initial specialization as a, as a PhD in history is actually with um, U.S. foreign policy during the Cold War. So this, uh, this subject area is actually very close to my own personal discipline and interest. Um, I also recently published a book um, about a year ago uh, called Reagan's War on Terrorism in Nicaragua. So obviously it's about the Reagan administration's policies in Central America during the 1980s. And so um, my specialization is very much in line with this course, and I'm really excited to be uh, doing this course with you. Um, and I think that the way that this course is organized, you'll find it a pretty fun um, and interesting class, at least I hope so. The way that uh, we will go about this course, uh, I organize the course in a manner so that it is, um, it gives you, the student, sort of a lot of ability to engage the subject. So rather than just assigning you some readings and have you take quizzes on them, I, um, I also post these types of video announcements. Every week you'll have a video announcement like this. Um, and I also post uh, recorded lectures, which are PowerPoint presentations that I record and then I upload into YouTube. And this allows you to um, move beyond just the reading that we're covering and also be able to listen to a lecture from your professor, uh, be able to watch your professor. Um, every week when I give these announcements, I'll give you important information about what we're doing each week. I also have an extra credit activity, which I'll talk about next week. Uh, that we do through these video announcements. So um, watch these every week. Watch them at the beginning of the week. Get started early. And uh, I think you'll find uh, that the way this class is done is, is pretty student-friendly and pretty fun, I think. Um, general, like, the guideline for the course. So we're going to start the course fresh now. Uh, week one is starting up now. We're going to start with Civil War Reconstruction. If it's a little bit of review for some of you guys who had already started the class, uh, that's fine. No biggie. Uh, we'll be able to cover everything in the course. Don't worry. Um, I'm going to post readings for you in Canvas. You just need to follow the course week by week in modules. So rather than have like the entire course all available at all times, we're going to go through this course one week by one week. So we'll start out week one. You'll watch the, the announcements, you'll watch my recorded lecture, you'll look at the readings and assignments, and uh, go through the material for week one, and the following week, week two, and so on and so forth. Um, in the class, there will be um, a series of quizzes. Uh, we have a weekly discussion forum that we all need to be active in, and you know, do see the syllabus for information on these things. Uh, but you have a weekly discussion forum. I want you to uh, post at least once or reply at least once by Thursday, and then I want you to post a reply to classmates on at least two other times and on two separate days. Uh, so the idea with the discussion forum is be active over two separate days with at least three uh, sort of different items of activity uh, in there. Uh, we'll have a series of quizzes, um, and the quizzes are drawn from your reading. Uh, they shouldn't be too tough as long as you're doing the reading and, uh, and you're following along. Uh, there's three tests in the class. I post a study guide for each test. Uh, the tests are generally made up of multiple choice questions, uh, fill in the blank questions, and a couple of short identifications. Uh, the short identifications are generally identifying the who, what, when, where, why is it significant of a person, place, thing, or event. Uh, and then we have one paper we write in this class. You have uh, there's three options to write the paper. Um, and we'll talk more about that as we get moving forward in the class. The first paper won't be due until the end of February. So the class is sort of broken up into three sections, and each test covers that section. 
Um, each section deals with a certain chunk of this period of history, of this class's history. Um, and so you're broken up, the class is broken up into thirds. And so at the end of each section, you'll have a test. And the following week, you'll have the option to do the paper. Um, and you do the paper based on, make, you make a historical argument about some aspect of uh, what we've learned in the section that we had just covered in class. Um, and I'll have more information forthcoming on that for you um, as we move forward. Um, so uh, there's one paper you write. It's like about three pages long, uh, and you can choose out of the option of three. If you want to do two papers, I'll drop the lowest grade, but you only have to do one paper. And again, more information will be coming on that as you move through the course. So you have a few quizzes in the class. You have some discussion forums in the class each week. You have three tests in one paper, so it's not too... Not too, uh, not too intense, I don't think. And, and, you know, this is an American history class, and so uh, when we do history, we're, we're very interested in how history has shaped the present. So why does history matter to a world today? Um, in what ways has history sort of um, established uh, the precedent for our present world? And uh, because this is an American history class and we're in the United States, I think you'll find that so much of this class remains very, very relevant to us today. Um, and so we're going to be looking at a myriad of very important topics from the issue of race and gender inequality in American history uh, to the effects of the Cold War on the United States to the emergence of the war on terrorism uh, to the emergence of industrial America uh, and so on and so forth. Uh, so it should be really interesting and exciting class and I hope everybody enjoys it. And uh, let's, uh, let's start out now and have a really great, uh, great term. Please email me if you have any questions. I'm always here for you. I check my email obsessively. So uh, if, I, if you email me, I will get back in pretty short order. So uh, I look forward to hearing from you. I look forward to seeing you active in this week's discussion forum. And let's have a great first week.